well, people are smart and adaptable and, and can get things done. Uh, you have to keep them alive, you have to keep them fed and, and drinking water, you have to keep them safe and warm. So given that it's pretty hard to collect observations in the ocean, robots are one way to do that. If we can create systems, machines, instruments that do not require people uh, to be present, that opens a lot of possibilities. You know, they can go deeper, they can, they can go out for longer, they can hopefully be cheaper. The, the challenges today are more in terms of trying to get these systems to behave in ways that are sensible enough and predictable enough that we can trust them to, to do what they need to do if we're not there to, to tell them. And so this trip is an opportunity to trial different designs of vehicles that are optimized for slightly different uh, situations. Most of them of the vehicles on, on board will be taking seafloor images, but um, we have trade-offs in terms of size, endurance, uh, depth capabilities, uh, ability to follow terrain. I think we will get a, a rhythm as things go on. It is a bit more challenging, certainly for the for the deck team with the manning, um, trying to get all of this equipment uh, deployed with our various boats, doing multiple boats at the same time. All of this is testing of engineering equipment. So things don't always go right, so the planned deployment might be an hour or two, and in fact it's 10 minutes. I'm on the bridge at the moment, I'm looking to coordinate some of the activities between the science party and the crew of the ship. Kind of like an air traffic control is saying, all right, we're doing this at this time, advising the crew when those, those schedules slip, um, and making sure that everybody kind of understands what's happening. And we're trying to, to find some tools that will help us keep track not only of when we expect things to be used, but also to document how those decisions are changing through the day. For engineers, it's, it's a great uh, way of pushing the boundaries and knowing that what we do is going to ultimately help science make its progress faster and better, and that will inform society and, and, and policies we need and, and decisions we need to make.